Well, Mark, the Special Investigations Unit actually saying precious little. A key fact here is that South Simcoe Police arrived on this street yesterday afternoon. It was a 911 call. They became involved in an altercation with two 19-year-old men. Both were shot. One is dead. The intersection of two streets in Innisfil, about an hour north of Toronto. This is a very quiet neighborhood, obviously. Like, you know, it's, it's very, you know, it's, it's sweet, it's small. Um, and basically I was working and I heard um, some shots. Ontario's Special Investigations Unit probing the scene of a shooting here involving police on Thursday afternoon. A 19-year-old man was shot and killed. A second 19-year-old was seriously injured and airlifted to a trauma centre in Toronto. The SIU says four officers at the scene discharged their weapons. Well, that's the way the world's getting today. I mean, obviously they must have thought that they were, they were in danger. This neighbour, Joanne Murchison, says she heard two volleys of shots fired. Well, I think it was about between six, six or seven shots, maybe a bit more, and then a couple seconds pause and then more shots, maybe about ten shots after. Shoreview Drive, where the police shooting happened, has another name here. We call it Millionaire's Row because it's more exclusive neighborhood. It's very upscale. Like you don't, it's not a cookie cutter neighborhood. According to land records, the property where the shooting took place is co-owned by William Hatton, a local developer. Obviously it's really sad. Um, I just hope that the family's doing okay. Investigators spending all day gathering evidence, interviewing residents and piecing together what led police to fire shots here. It's a very nice neighborhood and I'm surprised and shocked that, you know, that would happen here. The SIU confirms that South Simcoe police were using body-worn cameras. That'll be key in the investigation. Uh, as well, the OPP is conducting a parallel investigation. The Special Investigations Unit had promised an update this afternoon. Uh, none has been delivered as of this point, and no name, the name of the deceased 19-year-old, has not been officially released. Mark, back to you. We'll be keeping an eye on those details for you. Thanks, Sean.